Are you tired of the third person screen that we currently have in Fortnite? Well, I found a way that we can change that to be something much better. So thanks to UEFN, we can change this screen to this screen. Where you can fully look at your character surroundings while still doing Fortnite tasks. So as you can see here, I can still break a tree. I can still, you know, it works. And I'm going to show you how I made it. So the two devices that we are going to need to use is the camera orbit device and the third person device. Now this one is really important for the movements of the character and this one uh, <laughs> this one is very important to the uh, the angle where the camera is at if that makes sense or the position of the camera so so on this one my settings are um, set to I'm gonna say like an important one so these you can sort of leave the same unless you're unhappy with it um, but target lock on this is really important because without this then you will not be able to shoot at targets properly so you you can just be like shooting all over the place and it will not be a good <laughs> gameplay experience so what you'd need to do is put the targeting distance up to as high as possible so then it can track any sort of enemy or creature, whatever you plan to sort of um, use combat for. Um, and then also make sure it's, you know, uh, target lock on so it's shooting or aiming. You can also customize it like this as well, just to, uh, well, the way you want it, but you can just keep it on there. Um, so apart from that, that is really what I have got here to um, make this device work with the character. Now, onto the camera orbit. So. Uh, for this to be successful, I realized I wanted my uh, character to be inside this uh, sphere here. So then, I suppose, so then it can just sort of interact with the, um, the objects very well. And because I, I did a bit of experimenting with this and I think when the character was outside, there was a lot of um, sort of strange gameplay that um, I didn't really sort of like with um, my survival game. So what I did was I set my settings to, yeah, so field of view, you don't want that to be like too high, otherwise your um, screen will look all funny and sort of weird and it would just look not very normal is what I'm trying to say here. Um, and then uh, distance, I mean, you can sort of play around with this one. It's the distance from sort of where the camera is going to be at, like behind its target. Um, and then these settings here, offset X, offset Y and offset Z, these are very important because these are going to position the camera. So this one controls um, the X direction and this one controls the Y direction and Z sort of goes backwards. So I think Y is up and then X is sideways. So if you want, you can um, 
go with my settings here with a uh, minus 60 cm and 20 and 50 cm and that should work quite a similar way to what mine does currently and then all the rest of the settings I think are okay so now let's see this in action so you've seen what this is like with um, pickaxing objects so it is quite the same as usual and then what I haven't shown you is what the weapons are like with third person so so as you can see it is on and we've got some IO guards here that I'm going to fight and then as you can see it locks onto the target So it's not like too ideal for sort of the combat maps really because obviously you don't really sort of want people to just have sort of lock on aim like on everyone like they come across unless that's something you think is a fun feature and you'd like to go for I mean it would be your map so <laughs> your choices so now you should know how to make a new working third person in Fortnite UEFN. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.